Hey champions, this is Arian Tyson out of St. Louis, Missouri, and I'm just coming back at you on this uh, Saturday, first Saturday of 2014 uh, here in St. Louis, and I'm just uh, just excited right now. Um, actually had a chance to uh, wake up a little earlier than normal. Um, I'm making that a habit of, uh, of uh, not sleeping um, for a long time uh, because uh, I'm on a mission and I'm on a mission to uh, make some, some things, some big things happen f to me personally in 2014. And so I'm willing to, um, you know, do what's necessary to get it done. Um, I wanted to talk to you today because I, I woke up and after I prayed, I, um, you know, I, I realized what today was and today is January 4th. And, you know, January 4th is, is a significant day to me personally because my uh, my paternal grandmother was born on this day 92 years ago. She would she would be 92 today, um, but she passed away um, back in 2006. And I always think about. A lot of the things that she told me, I always think about a lot of the things that she shared with me personally, um, which is why um, the drive that I have, you know, is, is so, you know, people tell me it's awesome, you know, because um, I'm just not willing to settle. I'm, I'm not willing to, um, I'm not willing to just go for the mundane or just go for the status quo and I want to challenge you today and I want to uh, tell you that you can't live the status quo and expect your dreams to come true you can't live the like the status quo and expect your dreams to come true what do I mean by that? And I will be brief. The status quo has given up on their dreams. The status quo, they talk, they talk, they talk, yet there's no action behind it. And the reality is you have a lot of gifted, broke people in society. There are a lot of gifted, broke people. But because they're so unwilling to get out of their own way and put their ego to the side, they remain gifted but broke. And so after doing a clear observation, you know, just kind of sitting back and, and, and crystallizing this, I realized something. What is the common denominator? Ego. Some pe many people refuse to lose to put their ego to keep their ego in check. Too many people refuse to put their ego to the side. And I've said it before, and I'm going to say it again right now. On the first Saturday of 2014, you, if you don't have a purpose in your life, you are wasting your life. You are wasting your time. Because the reality is your purpose has to be bigger than you. If your why does not make you cry, it's not strong enough. I watched my grandparents, my, my paternal grandmother and grandfather, my maternal grandmother is still living, and I and, and my, my maternal grandfather, I watched them sacrifice. They each raised six kids each. They each were married. Both sets were married for 50 years or more. Did they have problems? Of course they did. Did they always get along? Of course they did. But the reality is they knew what their purpose was. Their purpose was bigger than themselves. Did it mean that they did everything right? No. Did it mean that the, 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 the situation was ideal? The circumstances was ideal? Of course not. Of course not. You know, I had... You know, they all, you know, went through World War II. They went through the Korean War, Vietnam. They lived through all of that. 
the golf war, they lived through all of that. And so, but the reality is they did what was best for them and they were able to leave a legacy for their children. And they were able to share stories. They were able to share their stories with their grandchildren. Some of them were able to share it with their great grandchildren who were willing to listen. And so the point I'm, I'm making is this. Don't be afraid to tell your story because you don't know who it will impact. All of us are jacked up. All of us have some type of issue. And I was just sharing this morning with the teammate of mine who I know has a passion for um, helping people lose weight. You know, that's her niche. And so I was telling her about uh, someone who is close to me who, you know, makes every excuse about why they refuse to take action in losing weight. But now they're in a position where they have no choice but to lose weight. Why? Because they are close to being uh, diagnosed with diabetes. And diabetes runs in my family. And diabetes is not something that, that should be taken lightly. It is not something to play with. And so what I end up doing, because weight loss is not necessarily my niche, but I have, I have sweat equity when it comes to it because Three, three or four years ago, I started my weight loss journey and I, I, I looked in the mirror and I consulted myself. And if you probably noticed that, yeah, you probably have asked yourself, why does he keep wearing the, this, this heavy pullover? Well, you know what? This heavy pullover used to actually fit me. It used to fit me. I used to be this size. Obviously, I'm nowhere near that size right now. But, but that was because I made a decision to change my situation. And I didn't wait on it to manifest into a health condition. So the reality is for those of you, and this is not to say that, you know, you need to join a weight loss company and all this other stuff. What I'm saying to you is for those of you who know that you need to change something, you need to let your ego let it go. You need to put it to the side and you need to start taking action. If you have a dream, go after it. I challenge you to go after it. What you need to do, if you if you have any questions, you know, I'm not afraid to tell my journey. I'm not afraid to tell my story. If you want to know my story, reach out to me. Connect with me. Click the link below, you know, because at the end of the day, what's going to happen is this. You don't know how many shots you're going to get to change your situation. And you need to stop putting off tomorrow what you can do today. Today, you need to live in the present. That's why today is called the present. So you need to make the most of the opportunity that you have. So as this storm comes heading towards St. Louis this evening, when I'm doing, I'm making the most of this opportunity. I'm providing this value for you. And then what I'm also doing is I'm about to head to the gym and get my workout in because I'm not going to make an excuse. Yeah, it's still snow on the ground. Yes, my grass is still covered with snow. And they're talking about us getting six to 12 inches more of snow. But the reality is I'm not going to, I'm not going to use that as a crutch. If I, if, if, if people can get up and go to a job in snow, then you can be able to get out and do what's necessary to make your dreams come true. So I'm going to wrap this up. It went slightly longer than I wanted to, but nevertheless, it doesn't matter because the reality is that's how important it is. You need to lose the excuses. You need to start getting your sweat equity. What does that mean? Stop being afraid to sweat. Stop being afraid to tell your story because you don't know how it can impact others. Click the link below. We'll see you on the other side. Peace.